Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Well, the feedback we're getting from our NeuroNuts program is real positive. I appreciate all of you watching. Wow, we had a lot more viewers than we actually anticipated. I've even got emails from Mexico, clear down into South America, one from Rio de Janeiro, if you can imagine that. So we appreciate it. Our next program live for NeuroNuts is going to be coming up on January 9th. That will be the, we always do it on the second Tuesday of each month. So thank you for viewing and watching and we promise you to make it very, very engaging. Today on our tune-up, people are saying they're running out of time, Christmas is sneaking up on them. And I understand that because many times I'm working along and it seems like, wow, I just don't have enough time. And what's going on? We all have the same amount of time. We have that 24 hours in a day. And we can start splitting hairs and say the universe is expanding and changing and time is shifting and all this, but not enough for us to really notice it. What's happening is, we're staying too busy. We're missing the minute fractal levels of our life. We're just kind of sliding across the top, but some of those rich moments that are hidden down in the crevices of where we have to spend a little bit of time, we're sliding across the top of and missing them. And this is a shame because those are the cherished moments of our life that we really, really remember. If you, if you take your memories and go back and think about the things that you remember, most of the time it's those little things, those little moments, those wonderful cherished moments that are down to those fractal levels of our life. It's not the big stuff that we remember so much, it's the little stuff within the big stuff. Today I'm going to ask you to really examine your life, look at the way that you're speeding through it, and ask yourself, is it really required of me to speed through it like this? Is it worth it for me to miss these things? You know, our kids grow up and a lot of times we see a relative and they have a child and then the next time we see them, the child is, wow, almost ready to start school. What happened? It's because we got so busy living our life and being distracted by all the little busy, busy things, whether it's something coming through the mail from the Internal Revenue Service or it's a parking ticket we have to pay. We get wrapped up into that stuff so deeply, we really do not slow down, as the old proverbial saying says, to smell the roses. It's time to start smelling the roses, folks. It's time to start waking up and understanding this is your life and pretty soon it's going to be gone. Anyway, this part of it. And none of us really are sure what happens after we're gone from this phase of it. But this phase of it's meant to live. This is part of our educational process through our spiritual life. What we learn now is important. And many times what we have to learn now is to slow down and appreciate these little things. And Christmas time, this time of year, the holidays, whatever you celebrate, whether it's Hanukkah, Christmas, or nothing, and you just enjoy the season, it's time to slow down and really appreciate it. In a week, just almost a week now, Christmas is going to be here, and then it's going to be gone. And are you appreciating those moments before Christmas right now? Ask yourself. And if it's Hanukkah that you enjoy and celebrate, are you really into it? Are you really paying attention to those fractal levels of your children as they grow up, as they're enjoying this season? When we remember things, it's always those little things. It's always those little memories within the big memories that we cherish the most. Now is when you're making those memories. Now is when that life is being lived. Please promise yourself that one of these days when you're on the rocking chair on the front porch, you're not going to be disappointed because you didn't slow down enough to appreciate these things after they're gone. It's time now to pay attention to your life. You're the only one that can live it. You're the one that's going to be responsible for the memories. You're the one that makes those memories. Choose the ones you make. And you know what? We're all dealing with the paperwork that comes through the mail, the regulations, the this, the that. We're all doing that. Do not allow that to get in the way of you being happy. So until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary day. And remember, Henry Ford said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, either way you're going to be right. And Einstein said... Hard is good, easy is bad. Do the hard thing. Slow down. Till tomorrow, bye-bye.